hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to be doing a lesson on Modest Mouse's Gravity Rides Everything. This is a song off their album, The Moon in Antarctica. It's a really simple song and it's really fun to play. There's only two chords throughout the entire verse and chorus. And I'll be showing you how to do the lead parts over it as well. So that way if you have multiple guitarists playing or you're playing with a buddy, you, you guys can both play it. So I'll show you how to do that. And I'm also going to be showing two different rhythm parts for it as well because there's a studio version where it's played one way and there's a live version where Isaac Brock plays it a different way. So I'm going to be zooming in and I'll break it down for you guys and you'll be able to play it either way okay, that you guys, want. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the first way to play it which is on the studio version. And um, this song is in the key of E major. Um, <clears throat> so the way the verses and chorus goes, it's going to start on an A chord. And that's going to be um, nothing on the thickest string. Open. Two, 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 open. <clears throat> that's your A chord. And then you're going to have an E chord, which is open, two, two, open, 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 and an E chord. Okay, so the way that it goes is you're going to be putting a lot of emphasis on the A chord, and the way the verses go is you're going to be taking all the A chord through the entire line, and then you'll switch to the E chord on the very last. So I'll try to sing along with this so you kind of get an idea, but this is how it basically goes. <laughs> Stay on the A chord to the E chord. That's literally the entire song. That is the entire progression, the entire way through. Um, there is an instrumental part, but uh, that has like some different leads and stuff, and it's all in the um, E major pentatonic. Um, I'll show you some of those licks here in a minute. But um, anyway, the strumming for that would be like down, 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 up, down, up. So I'll try to show you my hand. So my chord, the chords haven't changed the same, but. find the best way to find the best rhythm patterns for the song is to listen to it and try to play along with the original track. Now this song has a really basic rhythm, there's not anything that's too tricky with it. So uh, my suggestion is to listen to the song if, to get it as close as you can by listening to the original recording. So I'm going to show you the way that Isaac Brock plays it on uh, the live versions that I've seen on YouTube. So basically, <clears throat> it's the same exact chord progression, it's just played in a different area. So um, you're going to need a capo, and the capo is going to go on the ninth fret, and you're going to form a G chord, and a C add 9 shape chord, which is the same thing, but just moving your two fingers down. So it's going to essentially be the same thing, but you're just playing it up in a higher register. So this is how he plays it on his live version. So you start with the A chord, which is really the shape of a C add nine chord, but it, is, it has the notes of the uh, A major chord. So the strumming doesn't change at all, it's the same as if I was playing it down here. The only thing is it sounds a little more like jangly because it's up in a higher register. So like I said, this is how he plays it on the live version and if you watch him play it live it's actually, it sounds really full and pretty. But um, this is why I'm saying if you have two buddies and you guys are just both rhythm players, one guy could be playing down here while another guy could be playing up here and it would complement each other very nicely. So again. The first chord is the A chord, which is a C add 9 shape, which your middle finger is going to be on the 12th fret of the A, your first finger is going to be on the 11th fret of the D, and then your ring finger is going to be on the 12th fret of the B, 
and your pinky is going to be on the uh, 12th fret of the E. And that's a A chord, but it's in the shape of a C add 9 for uh, music theory purposes, if you know you really wanted to know. And then going on to the E chord, all you'd have to do is move your first two fingers up. So it's really uh, simplistic in the fact that you don't have to move that much. So A chord, A. So that's the entire rhythm in both different um, places to play it. So the lead parts are really simplistic. They're actually really um, complementary to the actual rhythm parts. It's actually it's just a beautiful, well-written song. Um, so anyway, basically what this part is that you're hearing in the main part of the song goes like this. So basically, um, for music theory purposes, that's basically kind of outlining the chords with an arpeggio, which is playing the notes of the chords individually. So this lick is being played over those chords, and it's outlining them in in a way. So the the riff is going to be your <clears throat> your middle finger on the D string on the second fret, which is an E note, and it's going to be one one. Oh, I should say 2-2. Two, two. So 2-2, two, two, so you're going to do two hits on the D string, and then you're going to go to the G string on the G sharp note and do kind of a walk down. So you're going to go 1, 2, 4. So, so far you would have... And now what you're going to do is to finish that lick, you're going to go backwards on it. So you're going to go 4, 2, 1. So that first lick you should have... Now, the finish of the lick, you're going to go to the the um, the adjacent string up. So you're going to go start on the A note now, but do the exact same pattern. So you're going to go on the A note on the second fret. And then you're going to go to the D string this time. So you're going to be A, A. So it would be... So the pattern is the exact same, it's just starting from the D string and now moving it up to the A string. So that whole lick is... So that's the entire, um, I guess you could call it the verse lick. So when the rhythm's happening... That's being played over it. Now there is this other little, this um, one other lick that is kind of like during the chorus. And uh, bear in mind that this song has uh, multiple guitar parts going on it. So um, I'm trying to like take the most memorable parts of it so that you know you can play it. But um, as a solo guitarist, I should say. But there is this other lick that uh, kind of reminds me of like a Spanish melody, I suppose you could call it. But it goes like this. is um, basically doing the same kind of idea that we were doing up here with this lick but um, it's going to be starting out on the D string on the seventh fret that's an A note <clears throat> and it goes like the same kind of idea you're going to jump to the G string on the sixth fret and jump up to the ninth so you're going to go so you're going to go on the D string one time and then to the G string six to nine and then back down and then when you get back to that uh, d string note on the seventh fret the a you're gonna go and that's um <clears throat> being played over the kind of like the chorus part of the song okay guys that was the entire song um i hope you learned something i, I hope you uh, took something out of that um, if you guys have any future songs that you want me to do um, by any artist, it doesn't have to be Modest Mouse, it could be anybody, um, just leave me a comment um, down or you know, shoot me a message or whatever and um, I will be glad to do that. Um, I love doing stuff like this. So um, 
I hope you guys have a great one and have fun with this tune. See you guys around.